What is up guys? I'm gonna teach you guys today. This is a maintenance video, not a trick video. One will be coming up like the day I'm filming this, but first you need to take off your wheel with this because we're gonna learn how to take off your tire and put a new one on. And putting the new tube on is like super simple. I just did it to that back one there, hence why it's purple. I just felt like putting on my purple ones today, so you get your socket wrench. Right. There it is. Now you have this. You don't technically have to take your pegs off. I usually do because it's easier just to put it back on. But if your tube is good and it isn't gonna it isn't flat what you're gonna have to do is if you look in here in the valve there's like a little thing that little white thing you can press right here and then you can just let it out by your fingernail you press that and then it moves the air out you have to do this because it's much easier to take the tire off when it's deflated because the tire will shrink in size considering that there isn't a whole lot of air in there if your finger won't work, which it's stopping to right now, you can just use like a little Allen key and it'll be much faster. Then you have to start squeezing the tire, pushing the air out. That smells awful. Usually air that's, this tube isn't popped in months, so I haven't needed to. It smells like oil and tuna. But the things you're gonna need to take off your tire are, you might not necessarily need this, it's a butter knife, but then you also buy these things called tire levers. They're super useful to take off your rim. I mean, take off your wheel. All right, now that we have that off, I'm gonna teach you guys how to take your wheel off. So you take your tire lever like this, put it in like that, and then you pry the wheel out like this. And that's what this little clip is for. Clip it onto your spoke so you can put in another one. I find it very difficult to get another one in here. So this is where the butter knife comes in. You usually only need to use it once. You put it in here. Actually, no, you want it just down a few inches. You gotta go inch by inch. Takes a bit, but it's worth it. Just do that. And then it should take out a bit more off the rim. See how much over there? Now, I can take this and then hopefully slide it along. You have to muscle it around a bit, except once you get it good, it's super simple. Let's try and see this, now it's coming along perfectly. So you want to take your tire off on one side, like this. Just have to finish it. And there we go. So that tire is off here, so I can you can do that. Then what you can do is for this, you can literally just take it off with your hands and then boom, you got So then after this, this is where you get, you have to take your tube out of the tire, like this the one that I'm running. I think I might need to let out a bit more air. Again, got a like, where did I put that? Get it here. Press down on that and then squeeze it. The more you squeeze, the better. Just really gotta get that air out of there. All right, that should be enough. You want your tube looking like this. Now, you go and grab your other tire like this. And see here how tires are, um, they go like that, how it's, it's like little arrows that go like this along here. I'll just put that closer up to the camera, there's arrows. You always want these going down when you're going forward. You don't want it to be like this. It's just way you have more grip. Now, we basically put the tire, we put the rim on here. Just kind of, a bit of it you can put in your hands here. Putting on the tire is much easier than taking it off. Then, pretty sure I almost got it. Oh, 
here. Now I'm stuck. So here, I have most of it on, so then I can just use my tire levers. For this, you want it the opposite way, so this little nub here can grip the wheel and then push over like that. I'll put that in between, and then boom. There's part of it. Then do it again. And there we go. Now we're ready to put the tube on. So if I look here, first you gotta find your hole for the tube. There we go, I found it. Then, oh, I want that there. This is a bit tricky to get it perfect, but you wanna get, it's hard to get on camera since it's covered. I can barely see it, but you get this, the little thing here for your air. You want to make sure that these are straight. You, won't, you don't want them like diagonal when you do it like this because then that could cause more punctures. So then you go, you find it again. So I lost it. You put it in there. It takes a bit because it's kind of a tight space to put your hands. Then I got it in. Now this is where we put the tube on. We just push it in like this. You want to make sure it isn't kinked, so you want to make sure it's flat. So if there are any like little knots in here, just put it in like so. This is, it gets easier here. You have to see where exactly it is in. And you just push it in there to make sure that the tube isn't twisted at all. So as I said, when it does that, you can't put as much air on the tire and it, it just doesn't ride well. Now, this is home stretch here. Just gotta put the final bit of the tube like in the rim. If it would do that for me, that would be incredible. Well, it appears here we have a kink. All right, now you have your tube in. You want to get like this, as I said, a little nub like this. And then you can start just putting it in. And once you get it in here, you can push it around a bit. It will get harder near the end here because all of it's in here. Again, the tube keeps coming out. That happens. But you just want to make sure you don't want to catch anything on there. There we go. Got some. Then... Here again, you can go here, got some more. Push it along. And then you just keep doing this until you get your tire in there. And then you can pump it up with air. Now we have the full tire in there. Now, the next step is filling it up with air. It doesn't really matter what bike pump you get. Just as long as it's as long as it can pump air fast, you wanna you wanna pull this thing out here because sometimes it'll it'll go in the tube. But then once you have that ready, then you can start pumping it up like so. And now for the final part. And now for the final part, or I don't like to use my bike stand for this part because I think it's just much easier to let gravity do the work and uh, straighten your wheel. Because then you do the last part is, oh, wrong side. You just gotta go and tighten your wheel or your axle tight, let's say. this, then you should be good to go. The final part. And congratulations, you put a new tire on your bike. I hope you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This took me a bit because it's giving me a bit of a fuss when I was uh, 
doing that but just putting the tube in there but it all worked out i hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good day